Hello, this is Easy CNC. Uh, today we'll be doing some chamfering. In this video, we'll have a little bit of drafting, design, tool paths, and some speeds and feeds. So let's get going. Okay, so first we are going to make a rectangular block. We're going to sketch it. We're going to add some dimensions. Finish sketch. Then we will extrude it to make it 3D. One inch should be okay. Then next, we aren't just gonna chamfer the top of the rectangle, we're gonna chamfer the sides also. We're gonna be doing that with an end mill. In order to do that, we have to make a little fillet on the sides. I usually do five to 10 thou. Okay, that looks good. Next, we're gonna do a little bit more sketching on top, and this will be for a work coordinate system. This will make it easier to set up the part once we go into manufacturing. We're gonna zoom up. We're just gonna make a little sketch here. at a point and we're going to use that point for a work coordinate system that will that'll help us out okay now on to manufacturing selected point we're gonna we're not going to use stock on this because we're just doing a little, a little bit of chamfering here but we're going to go up close and we're going to select that point because that's our theoretical sharp edge. We don't really have a sharp edge because we added that fillet for the chamfering of the side so that will help us out. Okay so we're going to use an end mill. We're going to create one real quick. Flat end mill. Half inch should do just fine. Now some speeds and feeds. And we're going to pretend this block is made out of 304. Fill out the info. Want that two tenths. Okay, so pretty slow. Now we're just gonna fill in our info. 1700 RPM. Eight point two five inches per minute. Plunge at 10. We'll have to go back later and fix that cutting feed rate. We kind of screwed up there, but we can do that later. Now I'm going to zoom up and show you guys what that fillet does to the toolpath. As you can see, it forms that nice radius around the corner, and that will get rid of the sharp edge. So we got our sides all deburred. Now we will deburr the top. Be making a chamfer mill. There it is. Quarter inch should do just fine. Now time for some speeds and feeds. And the website we use is easyspeedsandfeeds.com. Six tenths. 
This is for the 304 stainless steel. Okay, so pretty slow on that chamfer mill also. Now we're just going to type in our info. Okay, that's all typed in. Both our toolpaths are done. Now we will look at it in simulation. So our half inch end mills going around the part with a nice radius on those corners. Here's our chamfer mill going to work on top. And yeah, it's really that simple. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I'll be posting more. Also comment and uh, tell me what you guys want to see. All right, thanks.